Zach lost over 250 pounds after having gastric bypass surgery. He turned his life around and practically lives in the gym these days. But with all that weight loss, he had to pay the price. And the price is a whole lot of excess skin. Watch as Dr. Rose gives Zach a total body lift today on The Younger You. I'm on top of the world, now I'm living. And the good just gets better, keeps on giving. Not even close to the end, it's just beginning. Life is getting lighter while the days are getting brighter, yeah. And if the good, I won't even worry anymore. To call my care, still can kick them all out the door. Go on and try, come and tell me what you're waiting for. Move and keep them going until your life is overflowing, yeah. Welcome to The Younger You. Today on the show, we're talking all about a procedure called the body lift and we're going to hear an incredible story of one young man that has lost over 250 pounds but first of all I want to introduce you to Dr. Rose the doctor that performed not only this life-saving procedure but an incredible journey with our patient welcome Dr. Rose how are Good you? Good to be here. All right you brought this story to me and you said try I really do believe this would be an incredible story to document this is probably the most amazing transformation that I've seen so far in 10 years. Yeah. And the story behind it is just amazing. Well, well, I did all the interviews to begin with, and I don't normally do all of them because I like to be in awe with our audience. But even doing this interview, I choked up a bit hearing mm -hmm. the story. So I want yeah. everyone at home to follow what I think an incredible journey that you, you have done as well. So let's start off with... It's commonly known as a body lift. Correct. What is a body lift? So there's there's a lot of different words that are thrown yeah. around on the internet. Clear it body up for lift, us. belt, lipectomy, you know, tummy tuck, extend anyway. The bottom they can line go on. Yeah. The bottom line is a lower body lift removes circumferentially extra skin around the waist yep. and a certain distance down of extra skin that's sagging below the waist and all the all this skin essentially gets pulled up almost like pulling your pants up. Okay. But it's not this, I mean it's not going to pull the skin on your lower leg or your ankle on your but calf it's going to get you know your your thigh will you'll notice changes here but the the further you the further you are away from the actual incision the more uh, or the less the change you're going to see. Okay. So you see a lot of pull, less pull, less pull, I got less pull. Well, that's to yeah. be, right. to think normally as well. Question, as you're saying that, you're talking about pulling the skin up. Would it be moving the muscle as well? No, not at all. In fact, So it's not like a facelift? No. Where we tighten the muscle? No. We do tighten the muscle on a lower body lift because it's yeah. also a tummy tuck, so we're tightening it okay. along the center, which some patients may not need if they're yep. male, but every woman pretty much needs it. All right, <coughs> having this type of procedure done on a man versus a woman, is there a difference in the way you go about it? There's not a huge difference. However, you know, in, in general, most men won't have significant separation of their muscles because they haven't had any kids. Um, it depends, that a lot of times their muscles will be quite strong mm. and you can't really move them as much, but in general, Men have a lot of loose skin, just like women do after they've had significant weight loss. All right. Most people, should I say this, most people who go for this procedure have lost an excessive amount of weight. Absolutely. Okay. So I would like to be able to say most. Am I correct in that? Absolutely. All right. So they have either gone after the natural weight loss ways of doing it, or they've had some form of gastric bypass, gastric sleeving. Right. Am I Lap correct? Band. Lap band. Right. So what is better? Well, the honest truth is it's definitely better when you do it yourself because some people... The weight loss, not the body lift. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Some people will, you know, um, be almost like in forced malnutrition after a very aggressive uh, gastric bypass. In other words, we have to do a lot of lab work and make sure they're not unhealthy, anemic, you know, protein depleted, because they won't heal. That makes sense. But if you do it on your own through diet and exercise, which is rare because a lot of times the, the changes that need to occur are quite dramatic and over 100 pounds will get you into lower body lift territory. Dr. Rose, as you know, we love a bit of a viewer question here. So we sent it out to our peeps in the satellite world to ask you some questions. If someone has had a body lift procedure done and then gains the weight back, will the skin be able to stretch out again? Unfortunately, it will, but it'll be even thinner. 
because the skin there's texture. only so much skin that a patient has. And, it, and when, when, when a patient loses a lot of weight, the skin is really thin. So if they gain weight again and stretch out the skin again, it's going to be even thinner the next time. Okay, if someone is having scarring issues, what do you suggest for them to do? Well, you can do scar revisions because the second time there'll be less tension than the first time. Okay. And there are a lot of topical things that you can put on. There's, uh, there's That's all what kinds I hear. of, yeah. you know, ooze and goose. I mean, seriously, there have been, there have been studies research, researching putting peanut butter on the scar makes it look better. I mean, there's crazy there's stuff so many plus things. some good stuff as well. Right, and some really good stuff. All right, Dr. Rose, as per usual, fantastic information. We'll be back after this short break. After the break, we'll be back in the studio with Dr. Rose to find out more about the body lift procedure, and then we're going to be hearing from Zach and his inspiring story. Be sure to head over to theyoungeryou.tv to stay up to date with all things Younger You. Zach lost over 200 pounds through gastric bypass surgery, determination and a will to be healthy. His motivation to succeed was fueled by years of bullying, not only as a kid but also as a young adult. Zach's strong mother was beside him every step of the way, picking him up when he was down, dusting him off and making sure he didn't give up. His story is one that is truly inspiring. But before we talk with Zach, Let's finish our conversation with Dr. Rose. Dr. Rose, we know the skin can't shrink back naturally. Can you explain to my viewers why that is? Yeah, so there, there's an irreversible change in the makeup of the collagen and the elastin in the skin over time. That's due to age. It's also due to significant fluctuation in, in what it's covering. So mm. if, the, if their body increases in size, the skin expands, but it never has the ability to go back because as it's expanding, it's actually remodeling itself. And so it remodels to a bigger size, but then it just, the remodeling process doesn't go in the, in the reverse and all of a sudden all that remodeling just gets absorbed. It would be nice, but it just doesn't work So, But way. we see so many machines out there now that say skin tightening, right. reverse stretch marks. Yeah. Is and it true? Is it, how much should we go down that road of believing that? You know, I really honestly think in the future we are going to get so much better at non-surgical skin tightening. Yeah. But right now, very thin skin, stretch marks, stuff like that can be improved, but it's more like you're using the, fo you know, the fo Photoshop, the Adobe Photoshop, yeah. and just kind of tweaking it a little bit and kind of blurring the edges. But, you know, in, in the face, you can see some tightening with, with you know, certain procedures. Okay but not non-surgical procedures. Okay, I understand that. Yeah. Here's a viewer question for you. How much more weight can be lost in the skin that is removed? So, we have liposuction and we've taken out five liters yeah. of fat. People think that when you cut that piece of skin off and remove it, do you weigh it? Oh, we always weigh it. Oh, okay. Yeah. And do you say to someone, you lost 30 pounds? <laughs> <laughs> I always tell them how much I removed. And I take a picture Why? of it. Because that's everyone's first question. They always <laughs> want to know how much weight did I lose with It'd the surgery. It'd be my first question too. Yeah, and it's it can be dramatic. It can be anywhere between you know five pounds all the way up to like thirty. The most aggressive case that I ever ever did was an eighty pound panis that we removed from a lady. Eighty pounds. Eighty pounds. <gasps> that's a lot of weight. Yeah. How does that make someone feel when you tell someone? I took 80 pounds off you. Well, that's a real extreme case. Face? No, I, I get that, but, but what was her... She actually had to learn how to walk again because she had so much weight pulling her body forward that her back muscles were so strong that she would, like, fall over backwards. Interesting. So, oh. Well, I think it can affect your happiness yeah. in general. And who wants to go around life when you've lost all that weight and not be the best you can be? I agree. Absolutely. Dr. Rose, great answers. Appreciate it. Let's head over to your office and I want all our viewers at home to meet Zach and learn more about his incredible journey on finding the happier you. I'm Zachary Swenson. I'm 21 and I've grown up here in Springville, Utah. And I'm Michelle Swenson. I'm Zachary's mom, mother of two. Thanks for giving me your time today. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, so let's go back to when you are in primary school. Okay. Okay. All talking all about the, the weight issues that you had. You said to me earlier on off camera that you used to get teased at school. Mm -hmm. Was it high school or primary school? 
primary school up to high school. Really? Yes. Yeah, I'm eight years old is when I started noticing it. it was making me. And you were quite big as a young kid as well. Right around eight years old is when I started to hit puberty and things like that. What did you so, used to? What was said to you? You're just chubby. You're fat. What are you doing? You can't play sports. We don't want you to hang out with us. Just a lot of negativity. Just as a young kid, it was kind of outcasted. I was bigger or different. It's just really harsh for me. It was just a lot of it was fat or. Going up, just it was hard. Mum, did he used to come home from school and tell you these things? Oh yes, all the time. And what did you think? Oh, you can't imagine as a parent what you go through. Your heart breaks. Um, you talk with the school board. There's bullying going on. What worked for me and Zach, I think, is because I just, I just pushed for him, and I would always connect with him. He would always talk with me. So we talked about being positive and not um, letting the kids tease him because he was better than that and that he was a good person inside. But it was tough. It was really tough. And he pulled through, but he was very miserable, very sad child. And then he started being funny and he used his humor to hide his pain. And at eight years old on up, he was the funny kid, and that was neat to hear, but in my heart, I wanted it so much more for him, and weight controlled him. When we come back, we will watch the conclusion to Zach's surgery. You excited to go? I'm stoked. Yeah, this is going to be fantastic for you. I'm excited. Okay, all right. Do well. Heal well. Thank you. All right. Closed captioning for The Younger You is brought to you by Mindful Medical. Like us on Facebook for updates on the show and how to join the Younger You conversation. The following footage contains surgical procedures. It may be too graphic for some viewers. So Zach is a really interesting um, patient, um, great guy. Um, I ended up actually meeting him through going and working out at Gold's Gym. And he came up and just started asking me about procedures for extra skin. So I started talking to him and ended up finding out that at his heaviest, he was 430 pounds. So whenever you have someone who has lost that much weight, the discouraging thing for them is they're happy that they've lost the weight, but the problem is, is that extra skin never just bounces all the way back. Were you ever depressed? Beyond, like, mm. to the point where I wanted to take my life quite a few times. And what were you thinking? The, what's the point? Why am I here? Why, why should I have to suffer through this? Like, why, why me? Why am I so ugly? The, the real critical thing about this type of uh, surgery is that you have to somehow be able to predict wh what's going to happen on the front with what's happening on the back. So if we always start with the patient prone or face down, and we lift the tissue up, and you're tightening it in the front and the sides, and then you have to predict how it's going to work so you flip the patient over and then you finish the tightening effect on the front. So it's definitely, um, it takes a lot of experience and a lot of, um, you know, good artistic inclination about, about how it's going to actually come together in the end. I'm looking at you mum thinking to myself, did you know that he wanted to try and commit suicide back then? Did he discuss that with you? He was eight years old. When he first had said he wanted to take his life. What did he say? He said he wanted to shoot himself in the head or hang himself in the closet. At eight? At eight years old. So I knew there was more going on than his weight. Whether or not a patient loses weight really quickly or slowly, they probably would still need to have an, a skin excisional procedure because skin just does not bounce back that well. However, if you, um, if you were to lose weight on your own slowly over time through diet and exercise and being as healthy as you possibly could, that is, that is definitely a favorable um, weight loss program compared to having a gastric bypass. Zach did try to kill himself. What happened? He um, took pills. How long? And he is a, was a cutter. 
We were often cut so deep we'd go to the emergency room. He's been stitched up. Um, he took pills and we ended up in the ER. And they pumped his stomach and put him in some counseling. I was 16. Yep. Sitting here watching your mum cry, <laughs> you've probably seen her cry lots. <laughs> yeah? Yep. What do you say now as a young man hearing this? I'm sorry and I'm glad I'm still here and that I've had your support. Like, you're my rock, my mom. Patients will never be completely free of loose skin. That's the, that's the challenging, um, you know, I guess problem that we run into with these types of patients is that there's so much extra skin that no matter how much you tighten it, you're gonna still have some loose skin. And there's this stress relaxation phenomenon in skin where you put it under tension and it loosens again. And so um, he'll always have some loose skin, but he'll always be really happy that he went through the procedures. So he'll have a scar that runs like this and then goes up over the top of the areola and then back around this way. I think the, the main thing to, to, to know about having a, a big skin excisional procedure is the one thing that you need to be able to accept, the trade-off is having the multiple scars around on your body because there is absolutely no way that we can remove extra skin without creating a scar. I wish there were, but then I would be magic. <laughs> when you see what it really is now, mm. what do you think? I'm so proud of him because anyone could have surgery, but it's what he did with it. He had to diet, he had to go to the gym, I couldn't make him go, he, he had, to, had do it. to do it. So he will never gain that much weight again. He's so motivated and he, he, you know, he's, he's a fantastic person. Anybody that comes into the gym, especially when I'm there, that I can kind of sense that they're feeling that way, I kind of want to take under my wing and be like, stop those thoughts because it's going to happen. You've already taken the first step, you're here. And even if, like, you, if someone doesn't like themselves, I'm still going to tell them exactly what's great about them. It's a trait I learned from my mother. I see someone that's kind of down, feeling down, looking upset. I'm going to go, you have a great smile, or your eyes are gorgeous, or you're doing amazing. Hey, do you want to work out together? Like, mm. just, that's my ultimate goal is just to help others. I mean, if I can go from 450 pounds down to where I'm at now, like, my goal is just to help others, to be honest. I've been there, and it breaks my heart to see anybody sad. After years of struggling with his weight, it is finally time for Zach to put all this behind him and start looking forward to the future. After the short break, it'll be time to see Zach's final results. Before I get to find out how Zach feels at the end of this journey, let's take a look at his before and after shots. Zach, welcome to my show. Thanks for having me. When you see those before shots, all right, and even shots of you when you were at your heaviest, what do you think? I look at that picture and it's like, I was really that big. Why Zach, Dr. Rose? From the moment that I met him, just the story behind it and just his overall personality and just, like he, he, he came across to me as being such a genuine, like loving person that would be willing to do anything, you know? Mm. And I honestly just felt like he needed a break. From the day I met you and you brought me to tears with your mum about at a time in your life that you wanted to commit suicide. Looking back at that now, do you think to yourself, I could, why, what was going through my mind, why was I thinking that, looking back? What do you tell that person now? To keep fighting because that negativity is such a strong power to keep you down and be negative. But in all honesty, if I could go back to myself, just keep your head up and keep pushing forward. Do you think this is the next part of your life? The gym and the friends I've made through this yeah. and just the support system, I'm never gonna have to be able to go put myself in a secluded room again and be depressed by myself. Do you take into consideration the mental health of the patient? 
Absolutely. I, I really want to know what the motivation yeah. is. Make sure they're doing it for themselves. Make sure that they have a support system behind them as well. Because sometimes if you're just doing it all by yourself and you don't have anybody at home, you can put on a good front when you're out there, yep. but then you go back home and you can go into a, a state of depression and it can be really hard. And people definitely have emotional responses to surgery. How many procedures have you done in total on Zach? Well, we've done two stages. Mm -hmm. And you know, we started with a lower body lift and then we came back and did a chest, basically an upper body lift, kind of revised the lower body lift a little bit in the back and then did an inner thigh lift. Okay, how much weight? I've said just over 250, we're almost pushing 300, I think you said to me, just off camera. That's an incredible amount of weight. <laughs> it's unfathomable. I, I went around the gym the other day just carrying around dumbbells. It's like, how on earth did I carry that much weight around? When the weight is, circumferentially around your body you don't necessarily feel it the same way because it's more your core that's carrying it but if you're holding it in your hands or you put it in a backpack on your back it's a different type of a weight but yeah okay. it's it's definitely dramatic all right we've seen the before and afters and we've we know how much weight you've lost as well what does Zach need to do now Dr. Rose that is perfect diet clean eating nice healthy lifestyle and exercise are you committed? Honestly, all I have in my head is 120% drive. Give me your 12-month goal. 12-month goal, um, compete and place in one of my first bodybuilding competitions. Because oh, I asked you that a few months ago. Mm -hmm. I wanted to see if it had changed. No. So it was a bit of a trick question. Sorry about <laughs> that. I wanted to see if you were still on track. Always. You know, because things move and things change. People's expectations change. Did you expect a lesser result or a bigger result? before going into this surgery? In all honesty, I was just expecting help because that was my cry, was for help. And no, I knew in the expectations that I would come out better than I was. And I knew Dr. Rose knew exactly what he was doing. So I didn't have a high expectation or a low expectation. I went in with it with a humble heart and said whatever I come out with is what I'm gonna use. What do you got to say about Dr. Rose? I owe my life to this man. Like, I just, I don't know, I'm shaking, like I owe this, I owe so much to this man and the work he does and to go to school and put himself through that and just the sacrifices he makes daily is just unfathomable. Like he says I have a genuine heart. This is the epitome of a genuine heart right here. This is this man right here. And I know if my mom was here with me today on set, she would be saying the same thing. And anybody that comes in contact with this guy, their life will be changed forever, I promise that. Dr. Rose, I think you did an incredible feat. So thank you so much. I really you're do welcome. appreciate it. It's been a pleasure. You're, you're a great guy. You're a great bloke. I've enjoyed getting to know you, Zach. We truly appreciate it as well. Zach spent a good portion of his life fighting his weight, but now he's added years to his life with the help of Dr. Rose. I couldn't be happier for them both. For more information about Dr. Rose and our show, please visit our website at theyoungeryou.tv. And I'll see you next week. Next week on The Younger You, I'm sitting down with a panel of experts to talk women and leadership. Found that women outperformed men on 12 of 16 measures. Are we outnumbered right now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Feels that way, doesn't it? I'm thinking yeah. it does. The Younger You set provided by Madison McCord Interiors.